What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Knives of the Round Table. My name is Marco and today we have another head-to-head -head battle. In this, uh, this time we're going to be talking about the Hinder XM18 and the Zero Tolerance 0562. Now, uh, fair warning, the 0562, this is the carbon fiber version of the knife. There's a, a version that is all titanium. And, and the Rick Hinder, it's a slicer grind which is kind of what this one was based off of. And we'll talk about that in, in a little bit. But this one has a titanium scale that's not stock uh, with, with, with the knife. So uh, even though I'm gonna be referring to, to the knives that you see here, uh, the head-to-head the -head battle is really based on the stock version of the knives because the XM18 you can customize uh, significantly. So I'll try to address that as we go through. So let's just uh, remember the categories that we're gonna be discussing here. So we have, we're gonna be talking about materials, okay? What materials are these made out of? We're gonna be talking about the action, ergonomics, fit and finish, cutting, aesthetics, and value. And then we're gonna declare a winner at the end of this. And uh, I try to, uh, to not think about this ahead of time, so that so that my evaluation is as off the cuff as possible with this thing okay so let's start well let me show you the contestants here and on this side we have an iconic knife okay we have the it's the XM18 designed by Rick Hinderer and what I've done here is I've chosen the the slicer grind even though you have many, many different options for blades for the XM18, because it's the one that it, that the that the ZT is based off of. Now, this one is the working finish. I don't have a slicer grind in a satin finish like like that, so I don't only have the working finish, so it'll have to do. Uh, so it's the XM18. This is the latest generation of the XM18, which has the triway pivot system. And this, uh, the stock version of this has uh, just uh, plain satin hardware uh, instead of the purple one that you see here. And when I bought it, it had a titanium uh, liner in the same finish and a blue G10 scale as a kind of overlay on top of that. So that's the XM18. And this is the 0562. This is the collaboration between Zero Tolerance and Rick Hinder. In fact, let me try and get you close here. You can read there, Hinder Design. So Rick Hinder designed a knife for Zero Tolerance and it has a lot of similarities to the XM18 and that's why we're doing the battle here. And for a long time, before they came up with the, with the, with the triway pivot system, a lot of people believed now, there was a lot of talk that Zero Tolerance made a better XM18 than Rick Hinder did. Uh, so, so that's why uh, there's a lot of comparisons. That's why people talk about these. So we're gonna go through this. Uh, again, this is a slicer grind, uh, uh, very similar to what you get in the XM18. In this case, you get a deep carry pocket clip, which you don't get uh, in the XM18. Here you get, uh, uh, a regular pocket clip. You do have the the lock bar stabilizer over travel stop uh, that is a hinders uh, designed, and uh, and this is what you got. Oh, and this is the carbon fiber version of the knife. Uh, there's a, a full titanium version of this knife, and the prices are are actually very similar between this one and the full titanium. So. Uh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be talking about that here in a little bit. So let's get started and let's talk about materials between these two knives. So as you can see here, uh, here uh, 20 CV on the zero tolerance uh, 0562 and 20 CV for the hinderer. So the blade still is identical. Uh, this one is a titanium frame lock and so is this one. This one, K, 
came with a, a, with the liner and a carbon fiber scale, and this one came with a liner and a G10 scale. So materials are damn near identical. Uh, now this one comes with a carbon fiber scale, which is a little bit better than than what you get here uh, in G10, maybe kind of sort of. So, but for for all intents and purposes, uh, the the materials on these two knives are damn near the same. Uh, whether you prefer carbon fiber or G10, you know the the G10 you can get in in a bunch of different colors. Obviously, carbon fiber you can get in in just in just this black. So, so I'm gonna call the materials a tie. This, the the materials on these two are are almost identical. Now let's talk about the action. So I have a, a Rick Kinder that is a previous generation and the the action on the previous Rick Kinders uh, were known to have a very weak detent. Um, it, it, you can you struggle to flip them because they're so weak, okay? You can fail the deployment quite a bit. And for the longest time, that's why a lot of people believed that zero tolerance makes a better XM18 than Rick Kinder. But now with the with the introduction of the triway pivot system, they've they've upgraded and they've done their their detent much better on on the XM18. So now the action that you get on the XM18 is better than the action that you get on the 0562, not by much, but by a little bit. And I'm gonna call it a win for the XM18. And the reason I'm gonna call it a win is because not only do I think that the action is better, they both run on bearings, or I have them running on bearings, but with the triway pivot system and this little symbol with the with the three circles and the line connecting them, that means that it's a triway pivot system and you get to choose your action. You can switch, you can switch between uh, bearings that this one's running on right now or phosphor bronze washers or Teflon washers. So I I have to evaluate the ones that I have on right now and the latest version of the knives. And that's what this is. Now, if you have, or if you're evaluating versus a previous version of Hinder, then what I would say is that the action is better on the zero tolerance. But for this version of the knife, uh, the one that has a triway pivot system, because I think the action is better just deploying and closing and smoothness and everything. I think it's better, period. And because you get to choose your action because you can get to, you can change to phosphor bronze or Teflon if you want it with a triway, then the win is definitely for the XM18. So we're gonna do the check mark. And now I wanna be very clear. I don't think that I think that the action on these ZT is very, very good. Okay. It's just the action on the XM18 is a little bit better and you get a choice of actions. So I have to give the win to the XM18. So let's talk ergonomics, okay? So ergonomics are, you know, from, from a designer that designed both, you expect, you expect the similar, similar uh, ergonomics, right? On this case, you have finger grooves, one, two, three, and then a flat, right? And you and, and you hold it right that's that's kind of how it goes and this one has only a finger groove and then kind of a more neutral handle okay but the but the shape is not identical it's close and you know eh, but for whatever reason uh, you know that the the ergonomics on the XM18 are just a tad bit better than they are on the ZT0562 in my estimation and not by much. And the reason that I like a little bit of the ergonomics of this particular version is that this one has a choil. So you get to choke up on the on the blade. And that's a, that's an option that you have in the XM18. The the there is a, a choilless version of this knife, which would be kind of closer to this, but I do like to be able to choke up on on my 
on my knife. And that's part of the ergonomics, right? How am I holding the knife while I'm cutting? So I think the ergonomics are just a tad bit better on the on the XM18 and you have the option of getting the XM18 with a choil. You have the option of getting it without a choil if you if you wanted to. But the fact that you have a choice on your ergonomics, it's what kind of tilts it in this favor. Now, again, the ergonomics on the ZTO562 are very good. They're not bad, but the XM18 is just a little bit better. I think it's a little bit thicker. It might be thicker. Yeah, so so the 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 zero the XM18 is a little bit thicker, so it feels your hand a little bit better. And if you so if you have larger hands, it's gonna fill your hand a little bit better. It's a little bit chunkier. Uh, the the XM18 is. Uh, so I'm gonna give the ergonomics win by a smidge to the XM18. Now, fit and finish. So, fit and finish uh, is is again a, a, a tale of kind of of kind of two eras, right? I think that the new era of the XM18, the the the, the newest generation, the fit and finish on these is, is is slightly better than the zero tolerance. If you go with a Gen 5, 4, or previous, I still think that they have really good tolerances. But I think that the that the fit and finish on on the ZT specifically because of the detent and the consistency that would you get on the action on the ZT would be better. But now with the with the introduction of the triway pivot system, I think they've just been refining their their processes, and I think that the fit and finish is slightly better on the on the XM18. Now. It's hard to express with just a check mark or a cross how slight the differences are on this, okay? And the differences uh, are, 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 are tiny. They're, they're, they're very small. I have to, de I, I declare a winner on these things. But, uh, but in reality is that this, these knives are very, very close, okay? So fit and finish, you do get a little bit better from the Rick Hinder than you do get from the 0562, okay? So now we get into cutting, and uh, what, what, I, what you're gonna see here is that the 0562, I'm gonna try and, 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 and show you, is that they have identical blade stocks, okay? They have the same blade stock, they have very similar grinds. Okay, uh, they they both have the the uh, the slicer grind. Now, if you compare it to a different grind, then you might get a different answer. If you prefer a warny, then you only have this option. But comparing the slicer grind to the slicer grind, I think they're damn, damn near identical. Okay, they have very similar grinds. This one. It, it has a little bit of more of a cutting edge, the 0562 does, but that's because of the choil for this one. So if you compare it with the choilless version, that they're, they're damn near identical. So similar grind, similar blade stock, similar material, the cutting is a tie for these two. They, they just, it just is. Just because it's, it's the same blade grind with the same, uh, with the same material and the same stock thickness. Now aesthetics. So the the stock version of the knife, I think uh, the ZT is a more attractive knife. I really do. Uh, the carbon fiber, uh, the 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 grind lines that you get, I think it's very attractive on the ZT. And on the hinderer, the G10. I don't think it's as attractive as the ZT. So, and I'm comparing the stock version of the knives, okay? So, I am going to give the win on aesthetics to the ZT because I think they look remarkably the same. Uh, now, it comes with a huge, 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 tremendous caveat here and that I'm talking about the stock version of the knives because if you compare it to this one, I think most people would agree that this is better looking than that. 
but this is not stock. This is a scale, a, a, a Rickinger working finish scale that I had engraved by uh, Curtis Berry from Midnight uh, Sun Industries. So I'm gonna give the win to the ZT, but I need you to understand that in aesthetics, uh, that's for the stock version of the knife. If you consider the fact that you can get a tremendous amount of scales for the for the XM18, that you can customize the hardware, that you can do all of these things, because this is all customized, right? I can get hardware for the XM18. I can get the the filler tab for the XM18. I can even get these screws for the XM18 that are different, a pivot screw that is different. Uh, I can get carbon fiber, wood, I can get titanium, texture titanium, horse heads. I can get all kinds of stuff for the XM18 that I cannot get similarly for the ZT. Yes, there's some aftermarket support for the ZT, but not from ZT. You have to get go after market, and this is all from Rekinder. So I am going to give the win to the ZT for the stock version of the knife, but if you consider that the fact that you can customize this one, then this one wins by a line slide. The XM18 does. So for the stock version and the stock version only of the knife, the aesthetics win goes to the ZT. Please note that I'm putting up a big star here that if you consider if you consider the fact that you can get after uh, that you can get a whole bunch of options from Rekinder for the XM18, then I would consider the XM18 the winner on the aesthetics front, as you can clearly see here from from the way I've customized this one. Okay, and now we he, we're here to talk about value, and this is not even a contest. The reality is that this knife, that the ZT, is a tremendous value. It is one of the best values out there in my estimation. I think for a lot of people, and for my case in particular, this is a gateway knife. It's it's a knife that you know you start collecting and you you know you you would buy your hundred dollar knife and your hundred fifty dollar knife. And when I bought this one, this is a two hundred and seventy dollar knife, I think, right around there. And for for the it it's it's a slight difference to to the XM18, but the XM18 is four hundred and fifty dollars, and I just don't think that this is two hundred dollars better than this, and it, so for a lot of people, this is a much better buy. Now I do think that this is a better knife, but the reality is that for two hundred eighty dollars you get damn near 90% of a hinderer. You know, you get 95% of a hinderer. You get, and you get 100% of a hinderer blade, which is kind of the point of an knife, right? So the value on, on, on the ZT is just tremendous because all of the, even though the, the, the XM18 has more check marks to its name, right? It's got a little bit better action, a little bit better ergonomics, a little bit better fit and finish. It's sold just a little bit, but the value on the ZT is just incredible, okay? The fact that you get either carbon fiber, you get carbon fiber or titanium eh, to start, you don't have to get it after market. You, it comes with that. Here, you can, always, you can only get G10. That's the only thing, even the customs come with the G10. Uh, so I would say this if you if you if you've ever wondered about what this these feel like, I would absolutely recommend that you start here. It is very likely that from here you jump to there, okay? And that's what I did. I got this one, and I was like, "Oh crap! This just feels so good. I wonder what the real one feels like." And then I bought that one. So I, I have to warn you that it's very likely that you go from here to here. It's kind of a, a, a gateway knife into into this realm of knife. But man, it's hard to argue with the tremendous value that you get here. At $280, you get a titanium frame lock with all the bells and whistles with, you know, a lock bar insert, lock bar stabilizer, a 20 CV blade, slicer grind, premium design from a, from from Hinder. A lot of people like the, the deep carry pocket clip a lot better uh, than a regular pocket clip. So 
for uh, not not quite half, but let's call it for 60% of the price, you get damn near 95% of the same knife. So I do believe that this is a better knife. So if you're just looking for the best of the best of, of these two knives, then get the XM18 for sure. If you're looking for for a better value, I do think that this is a far better value at this price point. It's, it's, it's very difficult to argue. Now, the only caveat also is that you have to like the slicer grind in these two, because if you want the Skinner grind or a, a spear point or a Tanto or a Fullard spear or a Warncliffe, then your only option is to go that way. So guys, the winner for this one is gonna be the XM18. It's iconic for a reason. It's part of the holy trinity uh, of knife makers. It's part of the Ron Mount Rushmore, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, but uh, for a long time, people believed that this was a better XM18 than that one. So I, I would highly, highly encourage you to get this one first and jump onto that one. Uh, I, I don't think, I, I do think this is better. So if you have the funds and you wanna just dry, jump right in, then go here. But if you wanna take a, a solid first step, there's, it's, you can't go wrong with this. This one stayed in my collection, even though I have four or five of the XM18. So just that just gives you an idea of how good this one is, that it hasn't left my collection. So, guys, uh, hopefully you've uh, enjoyed it. Uh, the winner for this battle is the XM18. And if you like the, this, if it's helpful for you, then like and subscribe. Only if I earned it, uh, don't get notifications. Nobody likes to get more emails. You know where to find my content if you want to see more. Until I see you at the next one, take care.